video. As you can see in this video, I have this book that I seen and I got it because it's of ASMR brain tingles. Now, many people really don't understand the meaning of ASMR. And, and in this video, I'm going to share with those individuals that really don't understand the meaning of ASMR of what it can help you with. So, I want to share this book, uh, at least a chapter, and then I'll make a little parts to it as well as time goes. This book is called Brain Tingles, and it pretty much explained it to of what ASMR is, the meaning of it, the understanding of it, the triggers, etc. So it has a lot of info of it, of what ASMR is. Um, so if you want to get a full meaning of what it is, what it does, what's the meaning behind it, then get comfortable and enjoy this reading of what ASMR is. This book is called Brain Tingles, The Secret of Triggering Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response for Improved Sleep, Stress Relief, and Head to Toe Euphoria. Oh, I said that right. But so let's get into it. On the top it says for soft whis from soft whispering to watching Bob Ross includes 101 ASMR triggers. So I did pick this up from Amazon. Oh, it was like eight bucks. Right here it has. We're gonna do chapter one, Understanding ASMR. Chapter 13, The Introduction. The Introduction. Do you get relaxed when someone plays with your hair? Does listening to someone whisper make you feel all calm and sleepy? Do you get tingles if someone lightly draws letters on your back with their fingers? These are all examples of auto autonomous sensory meridian response. Parentheses ASMR. more informally brain tingles. This enjoyable relaxing th sensation can be a very way to calm down distress and improve your mood. ASMR has recently become more well known because of its power, because of its powerful ability to bring mindful relaxation to our busy modern world. Only ASMR videos with millions of views. ASMR inspired commercials, celebrity ASMR videos, and even appearances in popular films like 2017's Battle of the Sexes have all helped put ASMR in the limelight. Many people first experience ASMR by accident, hairdressers, along with soothing teachers, reassuring clinicals and your grandmother aren't trying to induce brain tingles. It just happens through their through their caring, gentle mannerisms. If you enjoyed the brain tingles, you 
walls around you. Have you ever gotten the chills during a specific part of a song? 
It may happen when the music swells or when the vocalist sings something in a particular way. That special feeling is called free sun. Fresh sun. Its physical manifestation is often called the chills or goosebumps. There is also a psychological or emotional aspect that is enjoyable but more difficult to describe. ASMR is it's similar to prison because it also has a physical aspect and a psychological aspect. But the sensations during ASMR are somewhat different from those felt during prison. Psychological sensations of ASMR ASMR, but they may not be the most important. The deep enjoyment that ASMR brings people is probably actually more char more tried to the psychological and emotional sensations. Most most important most many people utilize it to help them fall asleep. Have confirmed that relaxation is the most common psychological feeling during an ASMR experience and it is the most common reason people watch ASMR videos. People also describe ASMR as calming, soothing, comforting, and enjoyable. These pleasant sensations are the root of ASMR's increasing popularity. What triggers ASMR? ASMR triggers is the term for the interesting variety of things that can stimulate ASMR. These triggers can take the form of a voice, a sound, a touch, observing another person, or receiving attention from someone. A combination of several of these trigger types weaved into a surreal or fictional situation can be referred to as a scenario or role play. Audio triggers. The human voice works wonderfully as an audio trigger. Whispering has been reported by several research studies to be the most popular of all the ASMR triggers. But just talking in a relaxing voice is also one. Interestingly, it is how you speak that makes it a trigger, not what you actually say. A huge variety of other sounds can also be audio triggers for ASMR. Crinkling paper or plastic, tapping different objects, scratching materials, squishing wet items, making sticky sounds with your fingers, creating mechanical sounds with devices like keyboards or scissors, chewing or drinking, performing actions like turning papers, opening jars, and playing with beads. Well, talk more about auditory triggers in chapters 3 and 4. Touch triggers. Touch mediated ASMR is usually done in a light, gentle, and careful way. Many people like to have their skin traced. The lines. Or just 
this gentle hair play. Soft makeup brushes used on the face, arms, or back can create exhalation. Exhilarating tingles as well. Touch triggers will be the focus of chapters 5 and 6. Observation triggers. Observation based triggers are called this because they involve watching another person who is focused on an item or activity. Examples include the following. Watching someone sort through a collection of items such as coins, stickers, CDs, cassettes, basketball cards, buttons, spools, spools, pins, and even paper clips. Watching someone open a package like a box received in the mail, unwrapping a product from its packaging, showing a purchase from a local store, and opening a gift. Watching someone perform a specific activity or task like drawing, coloring, solving a jigsaw puzzle, applying makeup, having his or hair or her hair brushed, using a calculator, dem demonstrating a device, or teaching a task or skill like how to play chess. These are all observation triggers. Pause point. Perhaps the most famous was known for his relaxation style of landscaping oil painting showcased on his TV series. The joy of painting you can visit his official YouTube channel. This link right here. So if you're into Bob Ross, which I was, very relaxing. Very relaxing. If you like painting and art, like paintings, yeah. Just scenario trigger. So now this is all talking about triggers, um, like you got your observation, scenarios, scenario based triggers involve receiving attention usually as a simulated situation called a role play. Examples include pretending to get a haircut, getting an exam, or getting assistance from a teacher. These triggers can stimulate strong ASMR because the scenario fully immerses the person in a variety of triggers including personal tension from someone with a caring disposition. Some popular scenarios include the following touch based scenarios such as a cranial nerve exam, haircuts and makeup applications. Hands off a scenario such as eye exams with an eye chart, a pharmacist consultation, a room for a job or loan, taking a survey and being sketched, drawn, or painted. Nine chapter nine and ten will offer tips, but we'll get there. history of ASMR. The discovery of ASMR is not a single moment. It is more of a journey of awareness and understanding. This journey is still in progress and far from complete. It is probably safe to say that right now there are more unknowns about ASMR than knowns. The see an online forum. On October 29, 2007, someone with the user OK slash whatever 51838 started a forum thread at Study Health. 
Because she was the first person to create a YouTube channel that only contained 
videos of whispering or trigger sounds for the relaxation and enjoyment of the viewers. She was not called an ASMR artist in 2009 though because that term wasn't coined until 2010. ASMR. Jennifer Allen, a healthcare, a healthcare manager, was one of the early participants in the forum thread. Started by this, it was started by OK Whatever five one eight three eight in two thousand seven. She then went to make on um, to make several important contributions contributions to the ASMR community. She founded the ASMR Facebook group, the ASMR Facebook page, and the ASMR research website. She also made one other major contribution. She coined the term autonomous sensory meridian response. Each word helps encapsulate the physical and psychological effects. The word autonomous acknowledges that these stimuli can be different for different people, including the ability of some people to stimulate ASMR in themselves. Sensory. The third or the word sensory refers to the input of stimuli, light, sight, sounds, and touches that can initiate ASMR. The word meridian is in this case meaning greatest prosperity or splendor. Is an acknowledgement that the response is deeply relaxing and enjoyable. The word response indicates that these stimuli initiate a specific effect. Pause point. Allen knew that ASMR or brain orgasm, as it was commonly, commonly called back then, was very difficult to describe. And that people who felt it might feel awkward or confused talking about it. She thought about both these challenges while coming up with the name, as she explained in a 2016 interview with ASMRUniversity.com. I knew with something as difficult to describe and as sensitive for people to open up about it as ASMR that we would need something that objectively and definitely named the sensation using a clinical word was the best option to improve how to how the Bergianian community would feel about using and telling others about the word. ASMR's rise in popularity. The early online ASMR forums, Facebook groups, and YouTube channels united a previously scattered community of people who enjoyed practicing and sharing their experiences about brain tingles from there. The relaxing power of ASMR began getting wider attention from mainstream media. A memorial weight radio moment happened for ASMR in March 13 or 2013. When NPR broadcast a story about ASMR, 
ASMR titled A Tribe Called Rest for Rest for the This American Life Audio Program. You can hear the program at W and it has the website there. You can see the following year ASMR had a memorial TV moment when actress Molly Molly Shannon spoke exactly about ASMR as a guest on Conan in May 2014. You can watch the clip at youtube.com. The link if you want to watch it is in Since then, ASMR has continued to spread into many different facets of culture. For example, you can find it in a in variety types of, types of musical outlets, from rap songs to operas, recent movies, live comedy, and performance art have included scenes meant to stimulate ASMR. Check out a list of ASMR inspired art here at the ASMRUniversity.com description. Many well known celebrities have professed their interest in ASMR, and some have even tried their hands or at creating ASMR triggers. Actor Ashton Kutcher said, this about ASMR on his Facebook mind blown insert sound effect of mind exploding in a good way actress Gail Gator who stared started in the Wonder Woman movie appears in a short ASMR video that includes whispering open up a snack bag eating chocolate and writing with a pencil Actress Kate Hudson created ASMR, created some in, in, international ASMR triggers in a video by whispering, twirling water in a mug, rustling fabric, scratching on a belt, and creating scissor sounds. Actresses Sadie Zink, Dakota Fanning, Ellie Fanning, Julia Gardner, and Glove. Seven, seven, knee. Hopefully, I said it right. Created a short and mysterious holiday video filled with ASMR trigger was triggering whispers. And you can get there's links all right there. So, if you want to watch them, you can pause the video to get their links.
This strongly triggers suggests it is a biological response, almost all biological functions and reactions. No matter how specular someone somehow benefit us, the benefit usually is related to helping us prevent or recover from an illness or other unhealthy state. Being able to soothe and relax a crying infant or anyone we care for will reduce their stress hormones and therefore boost their health. I remember ASMR from a very early age from my mom, mama, stroking my hair so I could sleep on the train to my nana softly. So think about it like you're talking about from when you're a childhood to teenagers to young adults to your older adults that we've been we've always encountered a um ASMR but just but we never thought of it as to that but it felt good you know it felt good and a lot of it put us to sleep and so well, I'm sure a lot of us went through it already for a long time. Perhaps the most important trait of yours is that they make you feel relaxed. Imagine the disposition of your favorite is the martyrs or any Genuine and sincere personalities, their behavior and character make you feel safe. If that person is creating ASMR trigger sounds, even the sounds seem safe. Trigger sounds tend to be repetitive and meth methodical, gentle, as a, at a study pace. And a low. Oh, and if you guys hear, I just turned the AC, the AC clicked on, so it's a little getting hot in here. It's getting a little bit hot. Um, where was I at? At low, and at low, and we're steady volume. If, um, if the person started creating, creating sounds that were loud, Friend, friend etiquette and creating those sounds disturbing, threatening, and not relaxing. If we are experiencing gentle sounds, touches, and behaviors around us, our brains convert those signals into chemicals that make us feel relaxed and safe. The role of ox oxytocin ASMR. A signal brain chemical oxytocin has been dubbed the trust hormone or the love hormone because it is produced when people trust and care for each other. This brain chemical has, has been shown to increase when children and parents interact, when romantic partners cuddle, when friends spend time together, and even when dog owners pet their dogs. Many ASMR triggers are directly related to these same caring interactions. From birth to adulthood, humans tend to bond with individuals, including parents, family members, best friends, and romantic partners. because their behaviors seem trustworthy. And this is what Juliet says. I think ASMR helps people bond with others. I tend to feel close to or to gravitate toward people who trigger ASMR in me. I also find myself looking forward to situations where I think it will happen, such as haircuts, eye exams, or 
interactive theater. Do you guys feel like that as well? It is 
likely that they will relax if the other person is speaking softly or whispering, using a loving tone, gazing at them in a caring way, touching them lightly on their hands or skin, playing with their hair, slowly moving his or her hands in front of them, and perhaps even re repeating in specific words and or sounds. benefit 
As a result, most bands who have completed surveys about their experiences, if you've enjoyed ASMR triggers before, you've likely felt some of the best, some of these benefits. If you're new to ASMR, the following are some of the physical and psychological benefits you might experience. Pause point. Many studies need to occur before the health benefits of ASMR can be scientifically and clinically proven. If you are struggling with a health condition, ask your doctor if ASMR might be used to complement complement whatever he or she recommends as a treatment. Relaxation. Perhaps the most popular benefit of ASMR is how to relax people feel when they experience it. After a busy day, the soothing tones and gentle touches of ASMR triggers could help loosen the tension in your shoulders and calm your racing thoughts. Relaxing doesn't have to be a solution to a problem. It can be enjoyed like a glass of wine. ASMR is helpful for any time relaxation is desired. find ASMR relaxing, for example, children who are frustrated or upset might benefit from the from 10 minutes of gentle airplay or light brushing on their arms. I have seen the benefits of ASMR on children with special needs. It helps calm and relax them, but also make them feel happy in some way. Coconut Whisper says, Decreased stress and anxiety. Stress at one time or another is a significant challenge for most people. It is not just a bad feeling, but very real health problems can result from stress, especially chronic stress. Chronic stress can cause problems with digestion, sleep, and reproduction, and can worsen issues like heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, depression, infection, and other mental and physical illness. If extreme stress becomes detrimental to a person's health, job, relations, goals, or lifestyle, he or she may be diagnosed with an anxiety disorder. And if you feel any of these, seek help. Seek help for a professional. This is what Aaron says. ASMR helps me calm down when I am on the verge of a panic attack. It also helps to draw me out of a low moment induced by my bipolar. So this road, this helps, ASMR helps tremendously for people in, in, in certain areas of, of their life. Physically, emotionally, mentally, everything. And then that's why I was, that's why I always wanted to do this. Just to help people. And hopefully one day I can do it full time. Experiencing ASMR could therefore be a helpful reprieve after a physically exhausting day. Having a friend braid your hair or ask
asking your partner to ramble softly about his or her day while lightly touching your arm could help bring you back to a calm and happy place. experiencing ASMR as a child before I knew it had a name. It relaxed me more accurately than anything else. I have ADHD and find it hard to slow down mentality. mentally. This causes a lot of anxiety. ASMR is one of the few things I can count on to consistently calm me. That, that's, what, that's what we all try to work for is to help people. Reduce the sleepiness and insomnia. Getting enough sleep is a common challenge for many people. There are many reasons for modern sleep debt. They lure in light of electronic devices in bed. The challenges at work and the constant deadlines of school and all of Responsibilities and worries are usually at the top of the list. ASMR absolutely helps me to relax and de stress. I use it very every night before bed to help me relax and then sleep. That drowsy during the day is only one of the problems that can arise. A lack of quality sleep can result in impaired learning and memory and it increased difficulties with anxiety and depression and it can also worsen heart problems, diabetes, affections, breathing difficulties and obesity if an inadequate sleep begins causing problems with someone's health, job, relationship, goals or lifestyle. A doctor might diagnose insomnia Experiencing ASMR right before bed, or perhaps even earlier in the day, could help with more stressful night of sleep. Minimized sadness and depression. Pretty much everyone experiences sad moods from time to time, but persistent sadness is more devastating and can result in eating disorders, altered libido, aggression, social withdrawal, lack of self-care, low self-esteem, and other problems. Lifestyle is the detrimental ways a doctor might diagnose in depression which may be treated with medication or another type of therapy ASMR may help buffer moments of sadness a 2015 study in beer showed that those at high risk for depression reported that watching ASMR videos improved their mood some of your favorite ASMR triggers could help to lift your mood specific benefits of experience ASMR can simply help improve your well-being similar to going to a yoga class visiting a spa or watching your favorite TV program having an ASMR session with another person can give you a personalized and relaxing time to look forward to ASMR can complement but 
Some more.